Hey, welcome back to Working Class Customs YouTube channel. Welcome back once again to Stable B. We are here today with our, not ours, our buddies Kawasaki ZX14. Sorry, ZX6R, not a ZX14. That'd be kind of nuts. I don't know why that's in my head. But this bike is done with everything that he wanted me to do. We installed some protection on it, frame sliders, case covers, axle sliders, put new tires on it. It's done. But I have a secret. While I was looking around, I noticed, and I'll show you guys here in a second, but he's got the same exhaust on his bike that I have on my bike, and I happen to have this little guy, which is called a quieter insert. So essentially, put this down in the muffler, and it's just got a lot more baffling, I don't know, it makes it a lot quieter, and it works. I've used it before when I went to Arizona. They get a 96 or 95 decibel rule or something like that, something ridiculous. And so I threw this in there and it helped out a lot. Just for your information, the M4 GP exhaust is what we're working on today. These are an option. They make them from the range of, I don't even have one in, all the way down to this one being their quietest, and you can kind of keep them all on hand. So if you're somewhere where there are sound limits or you kind of travel between sound limits and no sound limits and you like loud bikes or whatever it might be, then you can go ahead and look into that. So I decided we're gonna put this in his bike and see if he notices. So that's what we're doing today. Before we dive too deep into that, I do need you guys to do me a favor, click down below on the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, throw a like on the video while you're there and leave me some comments. Let me know if you guys think you'll notice. I'll do a startup for you here in a second with the current setup that he has. He does have some sort of insert in there. I think it's just the sock one that came with it. And then we'll throw that in. I'll show you guys afterwards and then we'll go deliver it later today. And you guys will be there for all that footage. So let me know if you think you'll notice before we get there. We'll see. I'm not sure if he's going to, but that's the trick we're gonna play on him. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you guys this exhaust, get the bike started, let you know how it sounds and then we'll get those swapped over and start it again and see how much quieter it gets. All right, this is the M4 GP. In here, we'll get to it in a second, but in here is just this little kind of clip. I'm gonna pull that, pull it out, and then pull that insert out. As you can see, that one's a little bit wider. Let me go get the other one. Even just from here, I could tell that it's not their quietest version, because that's what it's gonna look like in there, and that's what it currently looks like down in there. So, we'll go ahead and get this bike started. Need a key. Key goes into the ignition, gets turned on. That needs turned on. We'll see if it's a clutch to start. No, sir, it is not. All right, so we are in the garage. And the bike is cold. <laughs> Real cold, that's your temperature. It's so cold it doesn't even read. degrees so we're gonna go ahead and kind of rev it up a little bit I'm not gonna go too crazy but this is what it sounds like again this is in the garage that's about ugh. all right that was about 7,000 rpm that's where we were at so there's your sound bite in the garage. I do have some ventilation going on, so no worries. But we'll go ahead and pull that one out, throw the new one in, and then we'll see what that one sounds like. I think it is gonna be quite a bit quieter. Would have done a little bit better. Test, louder, whatever you wanna call it. But one, I'm in the neighborhood. And two, if I'm gonna pull this out, it's gotta be at least somewhat cold still. So I'm not going too nuts. I don't know if these pliers are gonna work on this one. in your needle nose. These things are always kind of a pain. Okay, well, let's see if we can get it to move at all first. Could be so super rusted in there, it might be a good thing I'm messing with it, period. Gonna give her a nice little tap. This video might just be canceled. We'll see.
Just a little bit of lube, that's all. So there's definitely some rust in there, which isn't super abnormal. Sir. All right, I'm gonna work with this for a little bit and then uh, I'll show you guys the end result. All right, after uh, some work, it's a little bent. I'll have to straighten that back out, but I'm glad we got that out because it should not be that stuck in there. So, got that out. Now we'll pull this insert out, throw the other one in, get that bent back into shape, and we'll be good to go. So for getting the inserts out, you guys have this exhaust. I always just stick my pliers in there, spread them out, and then pull it out. But there are also some baffles in there already. It is still an exhaust, so it does have baffles in it. So we'll stick the new one down in there, just like so. And then we're gonna go over to the vise and get this straightened out, and we'll get that put back in. Okay, we'll get this put back in now. And hopefully we can pull this back out later today when we deliver it. And we'll be taking his insert with us. It's not like it's gonna be stuck like this forever. I should have drilled those out just a little bit more. All right, and we'll get this restarted and see how much quieter it is. Give her a go here. <laughs> an insane difference which they never are but I can say I'm not yelling as much hopefully you guys can hear me a little better it's definitely quieter though we'll give it a couple revs here in a second Definitely quieter. So once again, down in the comments, you guys let me know what you think about whether or not it actually made that much of a difference. Being here, I know is a lot different than listening over the little microphone. So I understand that, but I think there was definitely, in my opinion, a difference in volume. You guys let me know what you think and let me know if you think he'll kind of notice it. I don't think he's gonna notice. I don't think he's even gonna question it at all. Mostly because I don't think he has that much time with this bike. He's not super used to it. But either way, we'll take this with him or take this with us to him and let him know the secret when we're done. So stick around. We'll go grab a trailer and then we'll get this bike loaded up and deliver it to him and see what he thinks. See if he notices. All right, hey, the time has come. We're gonna go deliver this bike back. I know you can't see it right now, but we're gonna go deliver it back and figure out whether or not he notices his exhaust. I better go ahead and grab that before I forget it. We're gonna go pick up the trailer. Let me flip this around. Take this Tahoe here. Go pick up the trailer real quick and get a bike loaded. Go get a trailer, bring it back, get the bike loaded, and we'll go drop it off. Look, there she is. A working class trailer. All right, get flipped around here.
All right, I know this looks familiar, but I got all the way down here, was about to back up to the trailer and realized I forgot my trailer keys. Very common occurrence for me. So I don't keep my trailer keys on this vehicle key ring. I keep them on my other vehicle key ring and I only have the one set and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we're back. The trailer's still here. We're gonna back up to it now. And we'll hook it up because we have keys this time and we'll be good to go. Sweet thing about a backup. Pretty much back right up to it. The issue here is that because I locked my trailer, there's not much point in backing right up to it. But we'll get pretty close, go out, and I'll probably just stick her on there. Benefits of a small trailer. Need new locks. You gotta get outdoor locks. In case you were ever wondering, these ones just rust and don't really turn out the best. Let's go get a bike. If you haven't seen the trailer tour, did a trailer tour, recommend going and checking that out. We'll have a link <laughs> that side, I think. But these are our candy dancers. They're real nice. They just clip right on the end of the bar and you just strap them in. Same thing on the other side. And then I have the Condor motorcycle chalk system here. Pretty sweet for this bike. For some reason, in the Suzuki, it's always fine. This one, it's a little, needs moved a little bit, but you can easily move it. Pull that pin, pull that pin out, move it forward. I'd probably move it forward two clicks for this bike specifically. Then it'll sit in the back of that and it'll just basically keep it there while you strap it down. Definitely still need to strap it down. So get everything else loaded that we need to, and then we'll go drop this bike off. This lock, weatherproof. Go watch, listen, follow JK Motor Podcast. All right, we're pulling up. I think I remember where his garage is. Pretty sure he's got a garage back here. We're looking good. Looking good, looking good. Hopefully that time lapse wasn't too bad. We'll go ahead and see if he's here and unload a bike. All right, we got confirmation. This is the right spot. Yo, what up? I'm not gonna pick it up and put it in a truck when I have a trailer That's specifically true. built to do this. Yo, Bean used to blow his back out every day loading up his bikes. Yeah. And then I was like, why don't you just get a ramp? <laughs> and then he used the ramp more than I'm like, hey, Bean. I need you to start it. I'm gonna see if you notice the surprise. Sound louder or quieter? Oh, I didn't really start that much to begin with. That's what I kind of figured. Nah, you can you can kill it if you want. No nah, man, I'll put a quieter insert in there. You put a quieter insert in there? Yeah. <laughs> Why? We can take it back out. I just so I threw a since I got the same exhaust, yeah. I had to buy a quiet insert for mine. So you look down in there. 
they actually you guys all saw this this morning because you saw me install it but oh yeah i see that i've got one for the r7 the fucking yeah service. yeah yeah real quick we gotta go over this so your engine covers are good frame sliders are installed axle slider axle slider axle slider there you come back over here still got engine engine cover frame slider all good no axle slider cotter pin in there so it won't go in with the cotter pin on there if you want to put it on i've got it brought it up for you that's a you read the forums do some research and figure out if that's what you want to do or not got it. or i would go buy some rear stand spools yeah. you're gonna want those anyway and they just screw in right there and you can keep your cotter pin also eventually that's gonna have safety wired on it may have hard to have that axle slider with the safety wire on there those tires are brand new just remember that yeah don't get too aggressive with it yeah i just kind of want to break them and fly it to the track a little bit so yeah hey so we just removed the silencer we're gonna go ahead and start it back up for you guys and uh i'll stand back so that the microphone doesn't get too blown out bring it that sounds much better much better leave your stickers on or take them off anyway that's gonna finish this up for the today he didn't notice which we kind of thought would happen now we got that out completely removed i'm taking mine back he's probably not gonna put the original back in well over here on this channel we like loud exhaust loud pipes save lives you know anyway thanks for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you guys next week